everyone, welcome to another edition of Tuesday Wig of the Week. Today I'll be focusing on Julia by Jean Reno in the color 56F51. So let's get reacquainted with Julia right here, right now on Silver Linings. And so I say, let's get reacquainted with Julia because Julia was one of the first wigs I ever purchased over three years ago. And I didn't know anything about wigs. I didn't know about density. I didn't know about monofilament tops. I didn't know about lace fronts and why they were so wonderful. I just really did a terrible review. So in fairness to Jean Reno and Julia, I am taking a step back in time and showing that review again and I will make some comments along the way and I'll share my screen with you as I always like to do. Now, I don't have Julia anymore. Silly me, I sent her back and she's more expensive now than she was then like everything is. But let me show you what I mean and let's go to that review. So I'll just play a few moments of it and then I'll make some comments. As you can see, I've already got her on my head, not very well placed, by the way. But today I am reviewing uh, Julia in Smart Lace by Jean Renault in color 56F51, otherwise known as Oyster. Oyster. <laughs> now, when I ordered Julia, I have to say right here now. First of all, I had just put her on my head. Look at those back. Look at the fringe. Look at it hanging down in my face. And I did not know. If you're new to wigs, hear me. I did not know that you could. And she had a monofilament cap, everyone. So that means you could part her. There was there were many parting options on this cap. But I thought that I was stuck with the part as she was. And and so I just thought it was too much hair. Let's go on. I thought, all right, I've had John Renault's oy oysters before, and although they're pretty, I tend to look better in excuse. All I had to do was just make a different part, and that would have solved that problem. And then let me also say this: I said that I tend to look better in. I think I go on to say I look better in the whites. Now that I've learned more about wigs, that's really not true. I tend to look better, and most of us do, with a wig that has some blended colors. So I can see those lights in my, those ring lights in my glasses bugs me. But um, so most of us do better if we have uh, some rooting, some colors, as you see in this wig that I have on. And um, so that was a mistake on my part. I made a lot of mistakes with this wig. Let's move on. It's me. I tend to look better in the, they call it winter sun, or color 60. Color 60, that's that's white. And if you follow me, you know that I've, I've had the white on. Isabella, beautiful, beautiful white wig. Felicity, beautiful white wig. Belinda, beautiful white wigs. But honestly, I've, I really, really feel now that um, if you have a blend of colors, it's better just than that stark, stark white because many companies don't get it right. Some do, but some, some don't. So let's move on. Whether it's Envy, whether it's Jean Reno, whether Gabor, I, I tend to look better in the whiter whites. Okay, so now what you're seeing here is I'm holding up um, an example of a white, the color white, color number 60, uh, compared to 56F51. And as I've said, as I've gone forward in time, I find that the whites can sometimes be problematic. Look at the light bouncing off of the fibers on the white wig. It's just, I think, less risky, should I say? to um, get some blended fibers. Now, um, there are some wigs that I have, and I think I already mentioned Isabella. Um, I can't remember who Isabella is by. I think she might be Jean Renault, but I reviewed her. You can see her 
in the feed down below. So um, I wanted to share with you uh, something that one of my subscribers said about this wig. Okay, so here is, you can see right over here, Sandy Newton, one of my subscribers. And mind you, this was two years ago, and I've, I've made it bigger over here so you can read along with me. I think while you're feeling there's too much hair on top, you've parted the wig much farther over than the intended part. It looks that way to me. Change the part closer to the middle. That is how green I was, as I said earlier. I didn't know. I really didn't know that you can change the part. I'm a slow learner, I guess. Um, but I hadn't watched a lot of videos in terms of getting an education before I purchased a wig. I just looked at the style and I looked at the color and I thought that'll look nice and I ordered it. So, and this is another reason why I love, when I, when I write across the screen, I love your comments. I really love your comments. Not only do I love your comments, other people love your comments because we help each other to learn. There are some of you out there in the wig community that have been doing this for years and years and years. And so there are things that you'll share and vice versa. And so we learn from each other. This really is a community. That, that's what I have found. I never realized that it was, but it truly is. Now, let me just um, make a note about, let me make a comment about this. Would you show number 38 by Jean Renault? Um, remember, everyone, I am not a wig store. I, um, I sometimes will purchase wigs for my own benefit. Sometimes uh, other companies will send me wigs to review, but by and large, I'm purchasing these for myself. So unless my name ended in Rockefeller or Vanderbilt or something like that, there's no way I'd be able to buy every every color that they have in stock and every brand that's out there. So that's one of the reasons that I show other wig reviewers. I try to expand... Um, the view for my subscribers so that they can see wigs that I that I uh, am not showing. But what you can do, here's a tech tip for you. Now, well, actually, let me save that for the end and just kind of keep on track. So she goes on to say, I'd love Julia in 38. It has a little more dark, but without seeing a demonstration, I hesitate. Great demonstration of Julia. Oh, you are so kind. You are so kind, <laughs> Sandy, because it really was terrible. Um, yes, there's a couple of ladies who demonstrate the same name wig, but in different colors side by side. And I love to do that. Like this wig that I have in my head right now, this is Amaretto in Roca Margarita Blonde. And I loved her so much, I purchased her in two colors. But just a, just a note, please, please, please don't hesitate to put your comments in. I try to read every single one of them, and I try to answer every single one of them. That's my goal. Okay, I did want to mention that Julia, you can see her here, is a lace front wig, and she is medium to long, and pretty much where you see her on this model here, that's about where she hits me. It depends upon how long your neck is, how tall your head is, all those things take into consideration where those fibers are going to hit you, um, whether it's going to hit you at the collar, below the collar. It, it, it just depends upon your head shape and the length of your your neck. And she, she really does have these beautiful layers that frame the face. We love face framing fibers. It's just so, if you're going to wear long hair, that's what you want. You want fibers that just frame that face and it, it's, go, it's just going to soften your whole look. She has that beautiful lace front hairline. She has monofilament cap construction, which means you have lots of parting options. You're not stuck with her just the way she comes. You can, you can part her where it's comfortable for you. The lace front is absolutely undetectable on Julia. Beautifully, beautifully done. Jean Renault's Smart Lace, they do a beautiful job on all of their lace fronts. And it's, it's again, one of those wigs that is natural looking. It, it looks like the hair is growing right out of your scalp. I can't tell you how many times I have a wig on and even um, some very close friends 
And every once in a while, even my husband, though he knows most of my wig looks by now, but he'll say, is that a wig? And that's because you want the ones that look like the, you want that monofilament cap. If you can spring for that, and, and if that's in your budget, for my money, I would always go with the monofilament and the lace front. You don't want to spend as much for uh, Julia, but you'd, you'd like something that frames the face, that has a lace front, and that's a little bit on the long side. It's not super long, but maybe a little bit longer than Julia. Um, head over to Paula Young and Heidi Lace Front Wig. I think she was one of my wigs of the week a few weeks back. And I'm thinking about purchasing this wig. I just have so many right now that I have to do things with. But I would say this might be a good alternative. She comes in color 56, comes in color 60. And then there's also an SF5160. That might be a nice alternative. So that's enough about my comments um, regarding my ancient review of Julia. I do hope that you'll go back and that you'll take a look at her because if you wanted to see Julia in 56F51, even though I didn't have her on perfectly, you can get a great idea of the color because I held her up next to color number 60. And everyone, I truly regret sending Julia back. But if you want to find this wig, I've put some links down below for you. And you can get her at, um, share my screen, you can get her at wig.com. Uh, you're just going to type in whatever you want, uh, the name of the wig right up here. So you would type in Julia, etc. And then hit enter, and then it's going to take you right to the wig. Uh, you can also find her, yay, 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 at Amazon. Um, and I love when I can find a, a deal on Amazon because there's a little bundle here. And we've got some uh, shampoo cleanser for our wigs. And we've got a, a comb, one of these combs that you really should be using. And what do they have? They have a wig cap there. So just some little goodies. And if you're a Prime customer, the shipping is free. And they have a very generous return policy. So I always love when I can find something at Amazon. So that's really all I wanted to share with you today for um, Tuesday Wig of the Week. And as a gentle reminder... I have been working very hard and am still working hard on my wig store. Um, a lot of things have to happen before this goes live. So, um, but I'm getting there. It should happen soon. If you'd like to be notified when my wig store is live, head over to someonewithgrayhair.com. The uh, URL is right up here, someonewithgrayhair.com and um, you could subscribe here. Um, usually there's a pop-up, there'll be a pop-up window and it'll ask you to subscribe. Feel free to do that and it goes into a special area of my website where I know that you want to be notified if I have wigs for sale. I have quite a few of them that are just sitting there. Some of them, I would say maybe five, six, seven of them I wear most of the time, but I'll keep others too just to show for colors. But if you're interested in that, just head over and subscribe at my channel. Okay, so here's my tech tip that I was saying earlier that I would share with you. If you stuck it all the way to the end, um, I think you'll like this tip. I found it by mistake one day. So head over to Amazon, if you're, if you're shopping Amazon, and type in whatever wig you're looking for. Now, Amazon doesn't have all the wig brands, but they have a few of them, so it's worth looking. So I just typed in Jean Renault. Let me do it again. Jean Renault. Jean Ren Renault 56F51. And then hit enter. Now watch what happens. A, a whole bunch of product things are going to come up, of course. But every wig that's in that color, that's available in that color, 56F51, is going to populate that page. And there are four pages, it looks like. And let's see what happens when I get to page four. And I come all the way to the end. Okay, there's no page five. So 
Eventually, they kind of run out of Jean Reno, and then other strange things populate. Okay, so if I right-click on this one, and it opens in a new tab, and then I look to see, look here, it says 56F51, Oyster. So now, it could save you some time. Let me see if this, this one is 56F51. Let's see what this little bundle is. Open that in a new tab. 56F51. You see what's starting to happen? Um, this one is 56F51. And I just kind of take a, a real quick look. This is 56F51. And of most of them that populate, especially the first page, will be in the color that you're looking for. And it really can be a time saver. Now, generally, as you start getting down to the lower part of the page, because there are no more of whatever you're looking for, they'll just start throwing different things in. Maybe it's just Jean Reno wig or Jean Reno product. But you can quickly see that there's a lot of different uh, different styles in the color that you're looking for, which is why I always say once you find your color, then it's just a matter of finding your style. Okay, I hope that helps you save some time. It certainly helped me. And then, of course, you can always go over to any wig store and look at, at uh, whatever they have. All right. And so, everyone, I will land the plane now and just wish everyone a wonderful day, week, month, year, whenever it is that you're watching this. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon and subscribe. And remember, everybody, always look for the silver lining. They're always there. Bye-bye. <laughs>